Now, lastly, I want to share a new feature with you, which are the output plugins in Trivi. What are Opera plugins? Hello there and welcome back to the Aqua Security Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here in Aqua, and this video is, like many videos on this YouTube channel, about Trivi. Trivi is a completely open source cloud native security scanner. It's used within Aqua Security Enterprise under the hood as their main scanner. Now, Trivi is focused on scanning your resources and producing scan outputs. And in this video, we're going to look at exactly that, how to produce different types of scan outputs with Trivi. Since Trivi is a completely open source tool, it is mainly focused on generating the security scan, generating the report of the security scan. What you do with that scan output is completely up to you. So Trivi has four different types of scanners, the vulnerability scanner, misconfiguration secret and license scanner that you can see here on the left side in the content section. Now, what you then do with the scan output, once Trivi has generated that, that is completely up to you. Trivi doesn't go as far as to tell you what and how you should manage uh, your security scans, your reports of the security scans. You could either integrate with other open source tools, other cloud native solutions, or you can purchase a managed solution such as Acra Security to provide you with more options on managing the scan reports and automating scans. Now, if we scroll further down, we can head over to the reporting section for Trivi. Trivi has these different report formats. The default report format is a table format. We have JSON, Serif, you can generate your own templates, custom templates, load templates. You can use SBOMs, generate SBOMs in SPDX and Cyclone DX format. And then we have the GitHub dependency snapshot. So these are the different formats. Let's look at them in some detail. So for example, if I scan a container image with Trivi, Trivi image node 20, I will receive first the table format, the output in the table format of the scan result. So zooming out to make this a little bit more visible, this is the default table format of your vulnerability scan. Now, it look slightly different for your other scanners. For example, if you just use the misconfiguration scanner, but this is ultimately the table format. It will tell you the library that you're using in a container image that has the security issue, the vulnerability. Then the vulnerabilities within that library, it will tell you also whether or not there's a fix available. So here's the fixed version, for example, of that library that has a fix available that doesn't include these vulnerabilities anymore. And here you can read a little bit more on each vulnerability and why it's crucial to fix it and the ways that it can affect your system. So this is the default, default table format. If you want to use any of the other default formats, what you will do is simply specify Trivi image. So we still want to do a vulnerability scan. And then you would use the flag dash dash format. And in this case, we're going to use the JSON format and you specify again the resource that you want to scan. In this case, we're going to scan the same container image and it will produce the, the scan result in a JSON format and a JSON report instead. And this then would allow you, for example, to filter everything that's going on into, for example, JLS. And if it's in JLS, it's a great tool because then you can click through the different skin results one by one. So this is the target. These are the different vulnerabilities within here and the different layers that have the vulnerabilities. And this will allow you to click through it. Now that would be, for example, one option in using the scan report. Now you can also go ahead and save the scan result into a separate file. And this is done with the dash dash output flag and then we specify the name of the file where we want to save the scan result to. So in this case we're going to save it in a result.json file and we will produce again the scan result and then we can look at the result.json file and we have exactly the same JSON uh, scan output here displayed. So these are just two ways in which you can use the different scan outputs, the different scan format. Also in the documentation, you will find for each different type of scan format, you will find the different scanners 
uh, that are supported by that format or the different scanners that support that format. So do check that out uh, just to make sure that the format that you want to use is supported by the scanner that you want to use in combination. Now it's also possible to convert between different formats. So in Trivi, a Trivi uses the, its cache really heavily. So when you perform the same scan, for example, if I perform exactly the same Node.js scan here, the Node 20 image scan again, uh, Trivi didn't have to update the database in between because it just updated it. It will just reuse the information or what he has available. So done, it won't create, generate the entire scan again. This makes the scan a lot faster the next time I perform it if the database didn't have to be updated, for instance. Now, in some cases, I want to convert different types of formats. For example, let's say I have different JSON files um, that store my scan results, and I might want to go ahead and I would actually like to look at that JSON file um, and just see it, for example, in a table of like, okay, how many critical vulnerabilities are in that JSON file, for example. Then I can also use the convert flag, uh, the convert option, trivi convert dash dash format or dash f uh, into table. And uh, then we're gonna specify the severity. <laughs> critical, so we're only gonna look at critical issues in that image and we're gonna specify the result.json file that we've generated at the previous scan. And in this case, it's just one uh, or like there are three critical vulnerabilities. Um, and here's the status of those vulnerabilities. In this case, this vulnerability has been fixed and here's the fixed version. Here's the installed version. There's a fixed version um, versus these two vulnerabilities that will not be fixed for different reasons. Um, now, this is usually dependent on the vendor and they decide uh, whether or not the vulnerability actually affects their components, their versions, and then whether they will fix it or not. So you can see here additional information in the status. Now in the documentation, if you go down to configuration to filtering, you will also be able to find uh, the different uh, statuses here. Yeah just right here, that you can filter by. So for example, you can filter just by the vulnerabilities that have a fix available, that you can do something about it. You can also see, okay, how many of the vulnerabilities that I have will not be fixed or are actually not affected this package. These are the different scan formats and outputs that we have within the Trivi CLI. Now it's a little bit different within the Trivi operator. Let's look at that next. So the Trivi operator can be installed like any other Kubernetes operator just through the Helm chart. More details are linked below in the, uh, well, in the documentation of the Trivi operator so you can check out the exact commands and as well as tutorials. So we're actually at 19.1 at that version. And then we're just going to install in our cluster. And as you can see, you can already then go ahead and inspect the vulnerability reports of the different container images that are running within your cluster. Config auto reports are detailing all of the misconfigurations that are present in your cluster. Now there are all sorts of different reports that the Trivi operator will generate from within your cluster. And I highly suggest you to check out one of the other tutorials, also linked below, that details those. Now we're going to look at, it, uh, at our cluster now at a Trivi operator within our cluster. So it has created a new namespace called the Trivi system namespace with the Trivi operator. And this is also where all of the vulnerability scans are gonna run. Now you can see that these take some time to actually initialize um, and perform. And that's because I'm running on a local kind cluster, which is very limited by my system and what I can run and how fast it will actually run. So these vulnerability reports, once they are jobs, in Kubernetes and once they have finished, they will generate CRDs, Kubernetes Custom Resource Definitions of the scan output. So we can look at vulnerability reports and across our cluster. Now let's wait a few seconds until they show up. And then for our entire cluster, we can see here the different reports. Now, if I zoom out a bit, you can see here actually, in Canon S specifically, it will show you also the different <laughs> uh, types of vulnerabilities that have been found. So the critical issues, the high, medium, low, unknown issues that are found in your different container images. And then since these are all CRDs, so if you look at this, this is the YAML manifest, 
that has the report. Um, you can actually export these like any other CRDs. You can use them with in other cloud native tools. For example, um, Trivi, the Trivi operator can, oh, you can't see this. Um, the Trivi operator also generates metrics based on these scans, right? Um, so you can then use those metrics, for example, in Prometheus and create a Prometheus dashboard of your different vulnerability and other security issues. Now, lastly, I want to share a new feature with you, which are the output plugins in Trivi. What are output plugins? Well, you can define your own way of how you want to manage the scan outputs. You can create your own um, framework, let's say, of what you, how you want to display them, what you want to do with them, with the outputs that have been generated. So for example, we have here the count plugin. So we're going to install the plugin. You can find the plugin example here on GitHub. Again, it's all open source. You can find here the output plugin uh, with the example. So you just add the output plugin to Trivi. Just install the plugin, Trivi plugin install, and then the GitHub repository. And this is going to add the plugin now to my well, Trivi installation. And then you basically create a new scan. Let me show you here. So Trivi, then the target, for example, image or config or whatever scanner you want to use. Um, then the format, that's the JSON format, and then the target that you want to scan. And then you pipe it into that. So basically this scan, this JSON output, you then pipe it into the Trivi plugin. So, for example, if we want to scan this container image, a Debian 12 container image, we can do it as such and then provide the output, the JSON output, into our plugin and it will display the number of vulnerabilities that are in this container image. Now let's do the same for our Node 20 container image that we scanned earlier, which had lots and lots more vulnerabilities, right? 20. As you can see, this one had 75, 72. So you can also just check how many vulnerabilities does one with this plugin does one uh, container image have in that case. Now you can create your own uh, plugins, um, whatever you fancy in that case, whatever you prefer, um, whatever type. Um, and this will allow you and give you far more flexibility over how you want to manage and use scan outputs from Trivi. Now again, this is it for today. I hope this video was useful. As always, all of the resources used, including the blog post with a lot more details and a lot more information, are linked below in the description of this video. If this video was useful to you, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Also linked below is the Twitter account for Trivi, and join the Twitter, follow the Twitter and join us on Slack, on the community Slack for Trivi. If you have any questions, start a discussion on the Trivi GitHub repository. Again, all of our work here as part of Trivi. Trivi community is open source. Come get involved, share with us your feedback, your thoughts, your ideas. We would love to hear from you. Have an amazing day. Until next time. Bye bye.